Okay, so I have a lot of friends, including myself, I guess, who are either studying different languages or linguistics or something like that. And because no one's memory is perfect and no one is a super genius, um, sometimes you got to look some words up. That happens. Um, and whenever someone asks me what to use just as a dictionary, I recommend Stardict. Um, so Stardict, I mean, a lot of people will go online to sites like Wiktionary or, you know, Word Reference or whatever, depending on what language we're talking about. And that takes time and it requires an internet connection, which I don't, uh, you know, always have. I might be out doing something. Um, so I like to have a program on my computer that, like, does everything and actually more. Uh, and that's what Stardict is. Stardict um, is a nice little tool you can download. It, you know, works on Mac and Linux and uh, Windows. You can get it at stardict.org. Uh, it's in all the Linux repositories. You can sudo apt get it or pacman s it or whatever. Um, and it's a, just a really nice program. It, do, it doesn't have dictionaries in it you, itself, but what you do is you download different dictionary files, and it is sort of, it, you know, sort of keeps them all in one position uh, so you can access them all from the same interface, and it's really nice. Um, so you can go here and install it or whatever. Uh, once you pull it up, uh, it'll look something like this. Um, and it's, you know, pretty intuitive. You just put whatever word you're looking up. Let's say puzzle. Um, and it'll look up all the different dictionaries that you've downloaded. For example, I have a French to English dictionary and English to Hindi and English to German, blah, 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 blah. And it looks up puzzle in all of these dictionaries and it effectively gives you uh, the result of that. Um, so now, of course, when you first download it, you, ha you don't have any dictionaries in it. Uh, so what you got to do is go download them yourself uh, and... Pretty much anyone can make these, but if you go to the Arch Linux wiki uh, for SDCV, SDCV is just the uh, command line version of this program. Um, there are actually some lists of the different uh, of different dictionaries you can get. Uh, so, for example, the this one, yeah. So here are all the different language to language dictionaries, some of which I have. Uh, you can just download the tarball, uh, extract it, uh, and then let's see in Linux. Yeah, and at least in Arch Linux, you put it in user share star dict dict. Um, in Windows, I think you put it in program files star dict slash dict. I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm not sure about Mac though. But anyway, once you once you extract the files and put them there, uh, you should be able to access them here. So you can put in a word uh, hostel, and it'll work. Now that's one part of the program. I don't actually use this interface that much. Uh, now you might notice up here you have this little icon that says Stardict. Uh, I think it, it, this little thing actually popped up when I was over here. Uh, so what this little thing does is whenever you highlight any word in your GUI browser, let's say access, uh, it just looks up that word in whatever dictionary you have. Um, so it looks up, you know, in every single dictionary, it, you know, uh, checks that word. Um, so this is really nice, uh, you know, if you're reading like some language you know 80% of and there's some words you don't know, it's a really nice tool just to instantly look anything up. I actually don't use this much either. Uh, what I use is the actual command line utility, SDCV. Um, so SDCV works pretty much as you would expect. Uh, you just type in a word, let's say word, uh, and it gives, it looks it up in every dictionary. Now, you might say, well, it just, let's say I'm, I want to know the word for word in just, you know, Spanish or something like that. But it gave me all this text from all these different languages. Um, that's fine. Um, what you can do is, and there are different, uh, you know, arguments you can give it. Uh, let me list out my dictionaries. And you can use the U tag to choose a specific dictionary that you want. Let's say Spanish to English. Um, and, you know, let's say we run across a mysterious Spanish word that looks like that. Oh, it means dog. Um, so, of course, if you... Let me move this to another screen. Um, and to make this easier so you don't have to type everything out, you can, of course, make bash aliases. Uh, I don't have any of these on this machine, but on my other one I do. So let's say, for example, I want a command that says, look up a Spanish word. I'll just say span word. That's going to be the name of the command, and that's going to be SDCV. I'm just going to copy what's over here. Uh, look up in a word in SDCV using the dictionary uh, Spanish uh, to English, um, and you gotta, you know, use the little bracket or the slashes for your 
uh, quotation signs or whatever. Uh, so now whenever I say span word, it'll automatically look that word up. Bam. Now we don't have to do any of that typing. And you can have different bash, a bash aliases for all of this. Um, you know, you can, for whatever languages you use most often. Um, so that makes this a really effective tool. And uh, I will add, so this, you know, these are all great programs, but I will add they're also useful potentially for programming. I haven't necessarily done this, but since it does, since SDCV is just feeding you text, let's say like, uh, I don't know, look up a word, parole. Um, since it's just feeding you text, you can use it in concert with, you know, grep or, you know, whatever uh, utility you have to uh, use the dictionary program to like manipulate text. Uh, so that's an option for any of those of those of you who are doing more corpusy things in linguistics. But anyway, this Stardict is just a really great tool. I recommend it to anyone. Uh, it's free and open source and everything, and it's great. Um, so yeah, that's about it. All right.